Teacher's life completely changes after her deleted Facebook post goes viral. As she looked at her salary after the new promotion, Elizabeth Millich was stunned to see how low it really was. She couldn't believe that so many years of education and the expensive college degree she had paid for were in vain. The salary raise was a joke. Her salary couldn't even help her live a decent life, and when she decided to post her salary online, she had no idea that her photo would go viral. But what really changed her life was when a stranger sent her a message. In March 2018, Elizabeth was 43 years old and teaching second graders at Phoenix's Whispering Wind Academy. Although being one of the thousands of teachers dedicated to educate children, her story was unique. It all began at the academy where she worked. The Whispering Wind Academy was a Title I school funded by the state to help low-income students receive education. Elizabeth didn't know that her Facebook post would change not only her life, but also the lives of her little students. Here is her story that has made headlines all over the US. Just by looking around the classroom, you can see that Elizabeth is a dedicated teacher that loves her job and the students. She has put extra effort to make the classroom inviting and went the extra mile to make sure her students were getting the best education. But all that extra work was taking a toll on her, and the salary raise was the last drop. To decorate the class, to give her students notebooks, markers, and even snacks, Elizabeth had to pay from her own paycheck. I'm at Walmart buying my own garbage can for my classroom, and I'm laughing as I'm pushing the cart because I'm like, only a teacher would have a garbage can for their classroom that they're buying out of their own pocket, she said in an interview. And she wasn't the only one doing it. Unfortunately, Elizabeth was only one of the many Arizona teachers that were getting low salaries. Compared to other parts of the country, Arizona teachers receive around $10,000 less than other teachers and they even buy their own school supplies to stock the classrooms. That's an average of $500, and the salaries are actually dropping as years pass. One month later, Elizabeth nearly quit. In April 2018, around 70,000 teachers from Arizona protested in front of the state's Capitol building, complaining about the low salaries and demanding a 20% pay raise and better funding for education. The movement was called Red for Ed, and the images speak for themselves. But what Elizabeth did next was quite unexpected. Elizabeth was inspired by the many teachers sharing the same frustration, so she thought of posting her paycheck on Facebook. This was going to be the beginning of an amazing story. Here's what happened as soon as her post got viral. It's hard to make a decision to spend money on your home, your own kids or spend money on your school kids that desperately need help, said Elizabeth in a later interview after her Facebook post got viral. Working all day and not getting paid enough was frustrating, and she snapped. Something had to be done. Elizabeth was going to either leave the entire classroom empty or use her paycheck to get the supplies needed. I think it just kind of snapped for me like, I make so little money, and yet I have to outfit my entire room, she said. She wanted to help her students and show the world how much other teachers are struggling as well. Everyone was shocked when they saw this next photo. Elizabeth decided to reveal her paycheck on social media. She made just $35,621 a year and her raise was of only $131. I've debated about posting this, but in the end want to show what a teaching salary really looks like in AZ, she wrote in the photo description. I actually laughed when I saw the old salary versus the new one. Then, she carried on, explaining why the raise was making things worse. I paid $80,000 for a college degree, then I paid several hundred more to transfer my certification to AZ. I buy every roll of tape I use, every single paper clip I use, every sharpie I grade with, every snack I feed kids who don't have them, every decorated bulletin board, the list could go on," wrote the teacher. Then, she revealed the shocking truth about her situation. Elizabeth added that, the reality is without my husband's income I could never be an educator in this state. I'm sad for my single mom teacher friends working three jobs to make ends meet. This was insane and something had to be done," wrote Elizabeth. Soon enough, the response to her post was overwhelming. Something must be done, otherwise our poor children will be taught by unqualified, burned out, and just plain bad teachers," added Elizabeth, who agreed that teachers don't choose the job to get rich, but need the money to survive, p.s. No one goes into teaching for money, by all means, but we do need to eat and have a home. She didn't expect to see how viral her post got and when a stranger sent her a private message, she was a bit suspicious. In just under a day, Elizabeth's post was shared by over 1,000 people and comments began pouring. 
People were shocked to see how little Arizona teachers made and couldn't believe they even had to pay for the class supplies. Elizabeth was overwhelmed by the attention her post got and while many people were outraged about the low salaries, some messages weren't that nice. Most people sent supportive messages to the Arizona teacher, but others accused her she was being dishonest. As people began fighting in the comments section, Elizabeth decided to delete her post. But as she moved on with her life, she received a message from a stranger who was asking about her deleted post. This is where things get emotional. Months passed and nothing changed, salaries remained low and Elizabeth was still using her own money to supply the classroom. Her life was exactly the same until a stranger reached out and left her a message. It was a man that lived more than 2,000 away, in New York, and he said he saw Elizabeth and her story on Real Time with Bill Maher. When Ben Adam, who is a freelance news producer and real estate business owner, saw Elizabeth's story on that old episode, he put himself in her shoes and decided he had to do something about this unfair system. So although he thought it was a crazy idea, he reached out to her on Facebook. I have three kids, I'm a working person, I can't imagine trying to live, buy supplies, and support my family on $35,000 a year, said Ben in an interview, recalling the day when he saw Elizabeth on TV. I thought to myself, I'm sure with all of the people that have seen her story on TV, in the paper, on social media and YouTube, somebody has contacted her to say they want to help. He reached out to her to ask her if anything changed in the past few months. Ben wanted to know if that exposure helped Elizabeth with supplies for her classroom. He reached out to her on Facebook and asked her that question, but he never thought that this simple question would change not only the teacher's life but also the life or her young students. Elizabeth answered the stranger's question with a simple, no, Ben then wrote back and said, I would like to purchase any supplies that you need for your classroom. Elizabeth thought there was a catch, recalls in an interview, I just thought that was so crazy and there has got to be a catch because this man lives in New York. But there was no catch. At first the teacher thought this stranger was a scammer and there had to be a catch, but the man asked her what she exactly needed for the classroom. He told her to create a wish list on Amazon and send it to him. The teacher did so, knowing she won't have anything to lose. She carried on with her day and after a few weeks, a few boxes arrived. They were filled with books, colored paper, paint, paintbrushes, crayons, and markers. She was speechless. I'm thinking, this is crazy. This is a total stranger from New York, recalled Elizabeth when she saw the wish list form under her eyes in those boxes. The students were there when a reporter came to cover the story, one kid said, he is our hero here at Whispering Wind Academy. Ben's help changed Elizabeth's life completely and he didn't stop there. It was the end of the semester at Whispering Wind Academy in December 2018 and right before Elizabeth planned to go shopping for the new spring semester, Ben reached out again and asked for another list of supplies. Sure enough, Elizabeth once again received all the supplies and word got around. Although helping Elizabeth with the supplies, Ben wanted to help others and asked Elizabeth if other teachers needed help as well. Amazon packages started arriving at other teachers' classrooms weeks alter and Ben had another idea. He created a website called Classroom Giving to help other teachers around the country and the results were spectacular. This is like a wedding registry meets Secret Santa, and there is no commitment, Ben explained in an interview. Stranger around the world helped to stock 37 classrooms and the numbers kept growing. It may have started as a post on Facebook, but Elizabeth's voice was heard by the right person and now teachers are finally feeling like they're being appreciated. Ben called the local community in Arizona and asked businesses to sponsor local classrooms with supplies or funds and the lives of hundreds of students and teachers got much better. But Ben doesn't want to stop there. He wants to open partnerships between schools and local businesses all around the country to help all the teachers that are struggling just as Elizabeth did. That's unbelievable, and we're happy to see how kind people like Ben changed the lives of others.